It all started as a peaceful demonstration from the University of Zambia Great East Road campus onto Addis Ababa Drive, bringing traffic to a halt. Unza students' displeasure on the xenophobic attacks in South Africa were loud and clear, with the destination being the South African High Commission to lodge a petition. University of Zambia students have been peaceful on the road, demonstrating against xenophobic attacks in South Africa. They are grieved that despite Zambia having played a key role, like many other countries, in the liberation of that country, many foreigners operating in that country are now being attacked. Along the way, parliamentarians gave students counsel. We shouldn't use force. Mm -hmm. We should be able to use our intellect yes, yes, and yes. peaceful. A rare scene of police officers and students working together away from the usual cat and mouse game as they jogged all the way to Kabulonga, an over 15 kilometer stretch. However, their intimacy was short lived. After the tires and firewood students carried with them were put to use, burning the South African High Commissioner's signage. Appeals for calm by the students' leadership did not yield results as they unleashed stones onto the High Commission and police retaliated with tear gas, sending students scampering. Many students and journalists got caught up, but still lamented the xenophobic attacks amid the situation. We are not animals to be treated like animals by South Africans. Say no to xenophobia. While police were still assessing the extent of the damage and mobilizing after dispatching UNSA students, Nipa and Evelyn Horn College students landed on the scene. An African cannot kill an African. So students in Zambia have condemned this and you are going to demonstrate to the latter. The police officers are just doing their work. They are just working under order. But even them, they are not happy. If they had means of going to South Africa, they would have gone. Calm was retained in Lusaka, but many South African-operated chain stores and malls are on lockdown, fearing attacks.